Well, I spent over a year in Greenland because, as I said, it was about six or seven or eight expeditions and they usually were about two months. So, spent lots of time there. In, in Greenland, things are very uncertain to get there. You tended to get ferried from a village and dump somewhere on a, an inlet or a fjord and you'd establish a base camp there and, and then you'd move off into the mountains or up valleys and so on and you make other tent campsites and so on. So the Madman's Tour is when we, uh, we had our base camp. We had a, a, a lock, a freshwater a lock that we could go up. We had canoes to do that. And then we had a camp at the end of there and then went up over a pass to a very high camp. And the Madman's Tour was from that very high camp. It looked a nice day, by the time we started off it was fine, and then uh, we got caught by nightfall and rain and uh, one guy fell and cut his hand very badly and we were getting soaked and we didn't know where we were. It was just a crazy thing to do. There's another Greenland one in there called Night Over Gorgon and that's actually uh, three of us going up and following this ridge along. Well, we didn't know what the ridge was going to be like until we actually got up there. But the guy who I've known for many years was there. I've known him from Canada. and He didn't think that we were very competent. He kept making little stone cairns in case the mist came down and we had to retreat. I mean, I was going to go to the Himalayas and I turned it down um, simply because it's unpleasant, it's cold, it's hard work, it's dangerous. Uh, one in ten people don't come back mm -hmm. in those days. And going to Greenland, you've got 24 hours of daylight, you've a stable climate, the temperature remains much the same, things are of the right scale, uh, there's nice um, tundra to smell and so on, far, far more preferable.